It's Kambada, the shaman, the god, the crack baby. And right now you're tuned in to Kofi's Universe, the number one and most truest source for hip hop news, reaction videos, sports, black culture, and much, much more. If you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Bada. YouTube salute, MF Dooms. Widow confirms Ryan book was stolen. Let's talk about it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit the subscribe button. Click the bell icon. Be notified when I upload new content and go live. Check out my new shorts, album reviews by 38 Special and K Reno in the album review playlist. So Jasmine DeMille has confirmed that a former associate still has possession of her late husband's Ryan book and refuses to give it over despite several unsuccessful attempts. Even before Doom passed away in October 2020, the accusation comes after Talib Kweli called out Egon for being a culture vert vulture and stealing Doom's Ryan book. We had a hope after Doom transition, Egon would do the right thing and return the books to the family, but he has continued to ignore these requests. Jamil said in a statement acquired by TMZ, unfortunately, Egon is not the only former associate abusing their likeliness, art, and life works of doom. Sad to say. So, Alapat, which is Egon, that's his last name, who owns Now Again Records, is a former business partner of Doom and Madlib. Kwali slammed Egon on social media last week, labeling any friendship between the executive and Doom is no more. Um, this is a non-black person who routinely takes advantage of black artists and brags about it. He wrote in a post before listening several of his offenses. He had an MF do officiated this man's wedding for free and then later stopped rocking with him because of his devil ways. Someone tagged now again and asked Egon why he stole MF Doom Ryan book. He got me blocked. The Arab culture vulture is over. Um, and cop Talib Kweli, like I said, he went in, um, he went in and let this fool have it, man. Like Kweli said on IG, one day the hip hop community is going to have to discuss what a lion stealing, conniving culture vulture Egon from now again records is. He said, we need to discuss how he desperately tried to block black star album from coming out unless I paid him $500. He fell, by the way. It's out on our website right now. So check out their new album. We need to discuss how he uses the money he steals from iconic hip-hop artists to buy up catalogs of unsuspecting older black artists and then horse the music so he can decide what gets sampled and what doesn't, depending on how the money he personally makes off the music he doesn't create. He plays no instruments. He writes no rhymes. He sings no songs. He makes no beats. But he brags to me about how he has a $3 million house with money stashed in the walls during negotiations for the artists he used to work with. But today, all I want to know is why Egon stole from MF, MF Doom Brian book and refuses to give it back to the Doom family. Um, Like I said, man, get that Ryan book back, dude. For real. Like, we need to have, like, some type of, um, some type of, like, you know, Free Doom's rhyme book. You know what I'm trying to say? Like some type of yeah, we can say protest. We can say had hashtag um MF Doom Rhyme Book. You know, free MF Doom Rhyme Book. Release MF Doom Rhyme Book. Whatever we can say to so he can know we on his head. We need to start doing that. MF Doom, we love you. One of the best hip hop artists of all time. The rhyme book deserves to go back to the family because that's your um wealth. That's your wealth. Wealth doesn't always have to be financially. Wealth can be intellectually. It can be, you know, spiritually. It can be just so many forms of wealth. Post your comments below. Post my ass Black Panther the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support, um, Venmo Cash App, PayPal, Streamlabs, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.